Hello, my name is Nelly and welcome back to another video. Today we're discussing the Swiss Borg wallet and how to integrate it with Coinly. So I'll be showing you how to do your Swiss, uh, Swiss Borg taxes if you have that wallet. The breakdown of this video is pretty straightforward. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the wallet itself, then I'm going to jump into the integration, which for today I have needed some assistance from a colleague because I don't have access to this wallet in Canada. And then I'm gonna jump into how to get the necessary tax documentation and lastly, I'll leave you with some resources if you have any questions. But without further ado, let's jump into today's video. So the Swiss Borg Exchange, as you might expect from the name, is based out of Zug, Switzerland and was founded in 2018. Key feature of the Swiss Borg um, wallet is easy passive income with smart yield aka DeFi income which i've made uh, videos on if you're interested in, in learning more about how taxes work with with DeFi income i'll leave a link in the top right corner and the bottom of this video uh, if you're using this service you will need to tag that as income in coinly but make sure to still tag capital gains as such uh you know like i said plenty of videos a lot of information if you're interested in that um, so they hold 1.8 billion in crypto assets with over 500,000 verified users and over 700 unique crypto assets and fiat trading pairs. Okay, so that is enough about the wallet. Let's talk about the integration um, first, as we always do. Sign into Coinly, go to the wallet section in the top right corner. You're going to click add wallet and then we're going to find uh, Swiss Borg and there it is as you can see there is no API for this wallet So I'm gonna jump into some footage with some voiceover work for how to get the necessary CSV files Okay, so here is the Swiss Borg mobile app. They do not have a desktop version or a web version I guess but not to worry from here. We're gonna go to the top left where it has the profile icon and then we're gonna click the account statement and here we're gonna select the start and end date. Just one thing to keep in mind though, um, the end date does not go up to the current day. It goes one day prior. So for example, if you've made any transactions today, you will have to wait till tomorrow for those to be included in the CSV file. So not a massive problem, but something to definitely keep in mind. And then we're gonna select the currency. For this video, it's going to be um, British pounds. And then lastly, we're gonna download the Excel file uh, and find a way to basically send that file to ourselves on our um, desktop so we can then import it into Coinly. Okay, so once you've imported all your transactions, we go into the tax report section. Here we'll get a summary of our transactions, deposit, deposits, withdrawals, uh, capital gains, costs and expenses, all that good information. And this is a fantastic place where you can monitor your activity throughout the year to see kind of where your taxes will end up. At the very bottom of the screen, you can select the necessary tax documentation. And we have plenty of different tax reports. So for the US, we have the IRS Schedule D Form 8949. You can also export uh, to TurboTax both online and desktop versions. For the UK, we have the HMRC Capital Gain Summary. We have reports for Norway, Sweden, France, Switzerland. For Australia, we have the ATO Tax Report. And then lastly, for Canada, Germany, other countries, we have the Complete Tax Report. And this Complete Tax Report is a document that you can give to your accountant and you can combine it with other tax documents before he sends it out, or you can invite them to Coinly to set up their accountancy firm. Uh, we're still working on more content that's specifically tailored for accountants. And then lastly, what I always mention is check your country's uh, rules and regulation in regards to um, software that helps you with your taxes because it might be deductible. And that brings us to the end of this video. I will leave some links down below um, to places you can go for questions and um, stuff like that. So here is the Coinly Help Center. We have countless different articles on many different kinds of crypto tax related topics. We have a forum section where you can talk to members uh, of our community as well as our staff. And then lastly, we have a contact se section where you can send us a message or an email and we'd be happy to get back to you. But if you found this video helpful in any way, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.